All right, here's some good news to report. There's been some astounding progress in pediatric cancer research in recent years. And thousands of people have turned out this morning in Irvine for the 25th annual Reach for a Cure Walk and Run. KCAL reporter Tina Ezidine live at Valley College where that fundraiser is being held. Tina? Rachel and Chiba, you mentioned uh, coming to this report here about the money that's been raised. And I have to say it's a large tribute to these people that you're seeing walking behind me that are showing up uh, for this uh, run, walk, a series of events starting at 7 o'clock just now. They're starting to get underway. Uh, there's a half marathon, a 5 and a 10K. And you can see these people, they're showing up here now um, for this event. And uh, it, it goes to them, uh, just some of the people that will be raising money. This goes beyond a walk, though. I do want to point out it really represents all the families who have lost children to cancer or are suffering with the ones who currently have the disease uh, and these folks are helping to raise funds and awareness at the same time uh, to uh, research to help beat pediatric cancer so uh, that's what you're seeing and uh, for the past uh, 25 years uh, supporters have been pretty much converging here in Irvine for the pediatric cancer research foundations uh, it's an annual researching for the cure run walk and uh, it's important Important to note that it started with 125 runners uh, and about $10,000 in donations back in late 90s, uh, and it's now voted the number one run race in Orange County with uh, some $400,000 dedicated to fund research for treatments. Uh, and it's uh, one of the deadliest causes of death in children, which is cancer. Uh, a little bit ago, I uh, stopped a nice husband and wife couple who were many of the people that were walking here showing up for this event and as I started talking to them I realized that one of the women um, her she's a wife and she is also a uh, pediatric nurse at Chalk Children's Hospital of Orange County listen to what she had to say do you want people to understand that the necessity of this and I can see it and feel it in in the way you're speaking to me right now yeah I mean it's something that no one ever thinks that they'll have to go through until it happens to you so I think always keeping that in mind and you just never know and so um, yeah just keeping awareness and knowing that someone's always going through something yeah, yeah. and thank you for the work that you yeah. do thank, thank you, you. <laughs> A touching moment. Um, so you can see a lot of people showing up this morning and uh, they're here to do their part. And uh, if they personally don't know somebody that they have lost to cancer, they're here in support of the families uh, who have. And uh, so on top of all of that, great spirit for the people that are showing up here this morning. We're live in Irvine at Irvine Valley College. I'm Tina Ezzedin. Rachel Shiva, over to you. Yeah, we can feel the emotion as well as the excitement out yeah, there. Yeah, the energy. Yeah, I like that. Tina, thank you so much.